His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sheikh Hamid Palace yesterday evening well wishes from the capital and northern governors on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. The audience comes as part of His Majesty's keenness on meeting the kingdom's citizens from all cities and villages of Bahrain. The citizens congratulated His Majesty on the occasion, wishing him good health and happiness and many happy returns and to Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. They also expressed allegiance and heartfelt sentiments of gratitude and appreciation towards His Majesty for meeting with them, hailing his care and attention of issues relating to the capital and northern governance, and ensuring decent living standards for citizens. His Majesty thanked the citizens for their amicable feelings, asserting that the virtues of the holy month of Ramadan boost communication within society. This is shown in the exchanging of fraternal visits at majlises, for which Bahraini people have been renowned throughout their history. He emphasized the importance of availing from this spiritual atmosphere in boosting national unity in Bahrain, a country of mutual brotherly coexistence. His Majesty the King said these meetings gather the hearts of people, demonstrating love, faithfulness and sincerity, which are amongst some of the key pillars of our loving Bahraini community and part of a genuine Arab traditions, as well as the rich Bahraini heritage, which must be preserved. He also said that challenges facing the Gulf region are enormous and require that GCC countries rush to form a unified bloc.
On behalf of the capital government's people, Dr. Faisal Al Nasser delivered a speech in which he congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him and the people of Bahrain many happy returns. He confirmed the people's gratitude and pleasure for the meeting with His Majesty the King, commending the development approach of the leadership to achieve the best interests of the people and meet their aspirations. He stressed that the people of the Northern Governor renews loyalty and commitment to the wise leadership, wishing His Majesty the King further success in achieving more development and reforms for the Kingdom. صاحب الجلالة يشرفني بالأصالة عن نفسي ونيابة عن أهالي محافظة العاصمة أن نهنئ جلالتكم حفظكم الله بمناسبة حلول شهر رمضان المبارك عاده الله على جلالتكم وعلى مملكتنا الغالية وأهلها بالخير واليوم والبركات في شهر يتوالى معه الخير والبركة والأمن والسكينة نفحات إيمانية تغشى القلوب العامرة بحب الله وطلب مرضاته ودعوات الصائمين تعانق المآذن داعين العلي القدير أن يحفظ وطننا الغالي أمنا مطمئنا وأن يحفظ قيادته بعين رعايته صاحب الجلالة إن أهالي محافظة العاصمة يعبرون في هذا اللقاء التاريخي عن خالص معاني الوفاء لجلالتكم في يوم تخفق فيه القلوب بنبض المشاعر الصادقة تغمرها ملامح السعادة بلقاء قائد الوطن الذي يحمل حب الوطن وأهله ويمنحه وافر عطائه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب السمو والمعالي السادة الحضور الكرام سلام الله عليكم ورحمته وبركاته نيابة عن أهالي المحافظة الشمالية يشرفني أن أرفع إلى مقام جلالتكم أطيب التهاني والتبريكات بمناسبة شهر رمضان. Professor Ali Al Shahab also delivered a speech in which he congratulated His Majesty the King on behalf of the people of the Northern Governorate, commending His Majesty the King's commitment to make further reforms and meet the demands of the people in order to reinforce political, economic and social stability for Bahrain. He highlighted the initiative of the government, Partners in Peace, to spread the culture of peace through various programs and activities in support of the reform project of His Majesty the King. لإتاحة الفرصة لنا أهالي المحافظة الشمالية للقاء جلالتكم للتعبير عن خالص الولاء والعرفان داعين الله تعالى أن ينعم على وطننا العزيز بالسلام والمحبة في ظل قيادة جلالتكم الرشيدة الحكيمة ونحن نتلمس مظاهر نهضة مملكتنا العزيزة في كل المجالات لنستذكر بفائق الشكر والعرفان ما أرسيتموه من قواعد المشروع الإصلاحي الذي حقق طموحات وتطلعات شعب البحرين للسير بها نحو آفاق التقدم والاستقرار السياسي والاقتصادي والاجتماعي والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ألقيت قافيتي ألقيت قافيتي على أعتابه 
ألقيت قافيتي على أعتابه فالشعر أجمل ما يكون ببابه وأتيت تحملني حروف قصائد تسعى لكي تحظى بقرب جنابه لبيت دعوته فأسرع خافقي والقلب يخفق في هوى أحبابه لبيت دعوته فأسرع خافقي والقلب يخفق في هوى أحبابه حسبي بأني إذ أراه يحوطني بالحب والإكرام في ترحابه ويعيد أجواء التي أنسيتها لما رماني الدهر من أوصابه فالشعر ينبض في غرام أحبة وبهم تعود إليه روح شبابه ما كنت بدعا في الحروف ولم أكن يوما بمن قد ضاق من جلبابه أنا شاعر غنى فأطرب حرفه ريح الصبا والماء في تسكابه ينساب حرفي كالنمير نقاؤه ويبوح بالقول الجميل النابه وإذا انزويت فإن تلك عوائد للشعر عند ذهابه وإيابه تلقاه مرتفعا وغاية حلمه أن يرتقي سعيا لحسن مآبه ويغيب حتى لا تراه بأعين الإبصار مدثرا بعين صوابه هذا أنا أطأ النجوم بأحرفي وأسير فوق الماء فوق حبابه لأعود في شرخ الشباب كطائر الفينيق ينهض من رماد غيابه هذا أنا أطأ النجوم بأحرفي وأسير فوق الماء فوق حبابه لأعود في شرخ الشباب كطائر الفينيق ينهض من رماد غيابه وترى الحسان الغيد حين أبثها وجدي تذوب بناره ومصابه أنا مذ نشأت أرى الجمال بناظري أملا وكل الخير في استتبابه ولذا تراني ما حييت أزيد في وصفي وإلحاحي لكشف نقابه لا أدعي ما لا أطيق وإنما أسعى بجهدي لاكتمال نصابه أسقي الحروف بكأس خمر كل من حسرت أزيد الكأس من أعنابه وأبث فيها الروح حتى أنني أخشى على نفسي بفيض سحابه وأخاف من غرق ولست بغارق إلا ببحر من نمير عبابه وأخاف من غرق ولست بغارق إلا ببحر من نمير عبابه أعني أبا سلمان ذلكم الذي حلقت شعرا في سماء رحابه احنا على كل حال اخوان نشكر شاعرنا محمد على القصيده اللي احنا بعد نبادلكم ونبادل نفس الشعور ونهنيكم بهالشهر الفضيل الكريم وان يعود رب العالمين على الكل بالخير والعافيه ان شاء الله وعلى اسركم وعلى اهلكم والجميع في خير ونعمه ان شاء الله كذلك نشكركم على إرادتكم الصلبة وعلى مواقفكم الوطنية في حفظ البلد في حفظ البحرين وهلها بمواقف صحيحة 
قوية لله الحمد ومن المؤسف أمس أن حدث ما حدث في الشقيقة الكويت وباسم الجميع عزينا صاحب السمو أخينا الشيخ صباح عزينا أهل الكويت عسى الله إن شاء الله يسكنهم فسيح جناتك شهداء شهداء الوطن وإن شاء الله الله ناصر الجميع على الشر وإن بالخير لا شك إن بينتصر على الشر أشكركم وكل عام وأنتم بخير The capital governor presented His Majesty the King with a commemorative gift, which is a book that includes a collection of rare photographs about the history of Manama. The northern governor also presented His Majesty with a commemorative gift, which is a painting of the demised Sheikh Yusuf al-Siddiqui and Sheikh Ahmed Khalaf al-Osfur. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited the Rabadan Majlis of Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa last night. His Royal Highness exchanged good wishes with attendees on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, stressing the importance of preserving social legacies. He underlined the authentic social values which have long characterized Bahrainis, stressing their cohesion, harmony, acceptance of others and correlation between all social segments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister urged Bahrainis to join ranks and help security forces thwart potential terror attacks and stressed the need for society to remain vigilant against the growing threat of terrorism. He pointed out that a firmly united society that is capable of sifting reality from factional or sectarian considerations is the only way to clearly identify those seeking to subvert national security. His Royal Highness warned citizens to guard against those seeking to foment dissent, stressing that the government will spare no efforts to achieve stability to ensure economic growth. He expressed sorrow over the deadly bomb attack in Kuwait on Friday, pointing out that the presence of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jabbar al Subah, at the bombing site to console his people is a message to the world that Kuwait stands united against terror. He also underscored the crucial importance of focusing on the economy and stressed the need to muster the efforts of the government, the Council of Representatives, the Shura Council and Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, highlighting the supportive role of the national press. He stressed firm resolve to continue the march of development and progress unabated in accordance with a strategy that meets the requirements of the present and the future, ensuring citizens are the first beneficiary of the development dividends. His Royal Highness underlined the need to preserve the Kingdom's hard-won achievements and build on developmental assets to ensure further strides for the coming generations. 
His Highness the Deputy Premier, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed deep thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his visit, saying that it reflects his keenness to reach out to people during Ramadan. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a number of state officials today at Gudabir Palace. His Royal Highness praised the spread of national industries in the local and foreign markets. He stressed the importance of focusing on economic development and supporting its activities, as well as establishing partnerships between various economic sectors. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that Bahrain is an example of coexistence and mutual acceptance shown throughout history. This is especially highlighted in the framework of intellectual, cultural and religious diversity which has strengthened the country and enabled the nation to thwart any plans aimed at threatening at the stability and unity of Bahrain. He highlighted the people of Bahrain have the awareness to thwart any conspiracies and identify those who threaten security. His Royal Highness highlighted several topics of common interest and reminded all that the holy month of Ramadan is a month of mercy and forgiveness and Muslims should reflect the purity of Islam and its unity, especially with those people of deviant thoughts who are forming war against Islam.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the majlises of the Al Fathala, Al Rumehi and Al Kabi families yesterday evening. His Royal Highness highlighted that under the leadership of His Majesty the King, the bonds amongst Bahrain's communities have continued to grow stronger. Speaking on the importance of unity, His Royal Highness highlighted the need to increase all efforts in the Kingdom and across the GCC to stem the tide of extremist views spreading across the region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then spoke on the important role of Bahrain's youth and what they play in driving development and growth in the Kingdom and stressed the need to foster an environment conducive for this generation to develop the skills necessary to reach their aspirations. He went on to underscore the need to prevent misguided and extremist views from reaching Bahrain's youth. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince said that the Kingdom would continue to provide opportunities for all Bahrain's youth to build skills and capabilities that support their goals and promote development and prosperity across the Kingdom. For their part, the hosts and guests of the Majlises extended good wishes and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his visits. They also highlighted the Kingdom's ongoing efforts to preserve its lasting stability under the leadership of His Majesty the King.